It's an honor to be here, and it's kind of exciting to be here at the inaugural Technology Committee. My name is Dr. Dave Bowman. I'm the provost of UAT. We're a 100% STEM university. That's all we do is create highly focused individuals who are very, very adept at building. What we've been focusing on for the last three plus decades is what is the educational methodology that creates people who are really, really good at solving problems and looking at technology in ways that are relevant. When we talk about technology, we're often thinking about transformational changes, things that are going to change the way we think about what we do. So as Arizona grows, it continues to be an innovative state, that we're building policies that capture that. In Arizona, there are about 15,000 jobs posted. About half of those are unfilled. And so it's a challenge that every state is feeling. And the reason is all linked to the pipeline feeding this area in STEM, which is getting better, but it is still not adequate. In fact, the large majority of STEM-paced jobs require a base level of technology skills, but then also the ability to think and team and create. And one of the things that we could do that would help increase our workforce from the K through 12 perspective is to focus more on opportunities of young adults to see STEM as a space where it, that is creative and has more in line with design school than it does with organic chemistry. And so those are some strategies that you could really lay out, especially if you could begin at the high school and middle school level to think about curriculum that focuses on what you really do when you work in STEM, which is you build things. If that was the curriculum, rather than climbing a long mathematical model, you'd have a better feel for what the job is and you would attract more people to the jobs that are remaining unfilled.